Of course, it's still November of 2024, and we're still hating on Tears of the Kingdom. So let's go for a bit for the while to try to sneak around. It's not about Tears about Tears of the Kingdom, but we all know these guys. They're they're always relentless about Tears of the Kingdom. It's funny I've actually gotten a lot of views out of these Tears of the Kingdom videos. So go ahead, keep hating Tears of the Kingdom. This will give me more and more views because it's so funny that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are two of the most heavy and beloved Zelda games in the entire franchise. I get Zelda is a franchise with a lot of very beloved games, but those games are as highly reviewed as games like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. No one compares with Majora's Mask, which is ironic out of these so-called Zelda fans. And then they had the Zelda Dark Age, where Twilight Princess actually never really beat hated, but then you also had Red, Red Raker and I think the worst way Zelda game is a uh, Skyward Sword. But a lot of people love the two Breath of the Wild games. There's two of the most beloved Zelda games of all time. So I agree with that both of them are not proper Zelda games. What? What, what makes a proper Zelda game? Okay. I, I I just wonder what makes them a what makes a Zelda game a proper real Zelda game? Okay, like, okay. I just wonder, you know, what makes a proper real Zelda game? I just wonder what goes through these guys' heads every day. I'm gonna wake up today and make a hate for about Tears of the Kingdom and what to the extent of the Wild. But I think most of people hate Tears of the Kingdom, hate Breath of the Wild. They consider it the worst Nintendo game ever, the biggest disappointment in Nintendo history. You know. The worst game Nintendo has ever made, you know, blah, 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 you know, these people are, of course, the minority, obviously, because the average score for Tears of the Game was like 8.6, which is actually a very, very high score for a video game. But for the Wild, also had the same score as well, 8.6 as well. I think both games have the highest score in the last, and then newer Zelda game was a 2D Zelda game they just released. You know, I, I think that one's like around 8.2, but apparently these are not pro the, the so-called non-proper Zelda games, or they're considered two of the best games of the entire series for how innovative they are and how unique they are. Oh yeah, these are not real Zelda games. Yeah, they're not real Zelda games compared to those so-called, compared to the real Zelda games. The only Zelda game I would really consider a proper Zelda game is like Zelda 2 for the... Eh, NES, and of course the CDI games, but we don't need to mention the CDI games at all because Zelda 2 is so different than every other Zelda game that it never went back to it ever again. Like, yeah, that's what this video here. So, what do you think about this video? About this, and goodbye.